And so really when you, when you put this to practice, it changes the way you talk about it, the way you think about it, the way you talk to clients. So really imagine approaching a domestic violence survivor from this perspective and what it would look like. And it wouldn't look like, well, I'm, I'm here to talk to you about your relationship choices and you need to make better relationship choices. And it would, it would mean you wouldn't roll your eyes when she says, well, I still love him and I want to be back with him. I asked a group of child welfare supervisors once what their reaction was when a worker comes back to them and says, well, she still loves him. And to a person, they said, oh my God, what are we gonna have to do? What's it gonna take? We're gonna have to get more aggressive here. We're gonna have to get, you know, we're gonna have to look at to, because they associated her love for him as being a child safety concern. Now, there's probably many people in this room who would say they love a family member who's done some bad things to them. That doesn't mean you're not aware of what they did and you don't strategize about how to deal with it. And what we've done is really sort of make victims responsible and make them really the one to, to blame for perpetrators to be able to institutionalize them. This is about, about changing that institutionalization around this thing. And so what you do is you change the way, if you really practice this way, you would be able to see it in your work because it would change the way you talk to victims. So instead of saying, we're here to talk to you about making better relationship choices, we're here because your partner chose to get violent and we're concerned for your safety and the safety of your kids. And when she says, well, he's my husband, we were married, we're from a small community, we've been together 20 years, we're an immigrant community, I don't want to leave my community, I, I don't want, and, and you get to say, you know what? Your love for him, your desire to be part of your community, those aren't problems. Our concern is your safety and the safety of your kids from his behavior. If she says, well, I want to go back to him, then the conversation is, why do you think that's going to be safer or different than before, and how do you think he's changed? Because his history indicates that he hasn't changed. Because all we're concerned about is you and your child being safe. And just imagine how that's going to be received differently than, well, this is really about the poor choices. We've looked at your case file, and really you have a history of picking bad men. 